Now, while I couldn't go to Computex because I ain't got no feet to walk around that big ass show, I'm still bringing some tech to the table and still some pretty cool tech. Now, you guys all know the Gigabyte Aorus series is the series of badass cards. You saw the RX 580, super nice card, lots of features, huge cooling apparatus, which at the end of the video you guys said was all right because it ran that shit really cool. Well, now we've got a super duper fast version of Aorus, and this is the 1060 GTX model. This thing is super fast, super quiet, lots of features, and it seems like right now, the mid, like market range, mid-level range is like where everything's popping at. Seems like right, you know, anything under $300, between two and $300, that's the video card range that people just wanna bite and sink their teeth right into. Now, real quick before we jump into the video, this will be the last video you guys see where we only have the average frames per second. I know that everybody out there said, hey guys, change your stuff up so we have stopped that's why actually a couple days we haven't any videos we figured out stuff out so we know how to give you guys all the stuff that you guys want so we'll be able to bring to the table now the power draw the boost clock and the low the average frame per second and the highest frames per second beyond that though let's jump in let's check out the features on this badass card and why at the end of the day i think you guys are gonna go damn i want that motherfucker at first glance, the Aorus GTX 1060 just looks absolutely cool. Giant X in the middle, kind of like the X-Men. You also see 200 millimeter fans on the top and the looks of everything on this are just very nice and sleek. They're not minimalistic, but they're not over the top either. They're to me just right. Now, if you flip the card around to its bottom, you guys can take a look at that giant cooling apparatus that's on the Aorus card. You see a lot of aluminum heat fins, and inside you see the copper heat pipes. Now, one thing that's really unique about this card, however, is that the copper not only covers the GPU, it covers all your memory as well, making sure that everything on your card remains cool and running quiet during your entire operation. The fans on the Aorus are also designed to be very efficient. They offer 23% more airflow at the top of the card. They feature an angular design, which actually benefits the card. And they also feature this thing, which is a 3D active fan, which means that when the card doesn't have any heat, the fans actually shut off. So if your card all of a sudden the fans aren't running, don't think and freak out. It might be that your card just running very cool. And Gigabyte calls this cooling solution the Windforce 2X. Now usually the rear end of a card is pretty boring. All you see is copper heat fins and heat pipes, but on the Aorus, you see the VR link. Now these are two extra HDMI ports and you can connect up to four monitors and or VR device at the same time with a total of three display ports and three native HDMI ports that can be used interchangeably under VR mode for all types of gaming configurations. But the really cool thing, however, is when you restart your PC, all the connections are automatically detected so you don't have to do anything else in your settings to be up and gaming. On the top of the card, and let's just face it, this is what you're going to be seeing inside your PC if you have a clear window. We see the Extreme Gaming logo right up there, and this card also does feature total RGB functionality. So if you love the RGB theme, it's here. You also see a little light off to the side, which says Fan Stop. If your fan's not running and you're doing that 3D fan active mode, well, then you know that when that's on, the fan's not moving. And up above that, you guys see the single 8-pin power connection, and it's recommended that you have a minimum of 400-watt power supply to run this bad boy. Now you guys see there's no SLI finger and honestly I think that's kind of sad that they don't have an SLI finger. It's the one thing about the RX 580 that I think a lot of people are jumping on because you can do crossfire with that. But with this card, no SLI. What's up Nvidia? And as far as the inputs go, there are three display ports, three HDMI ports and a single DVI-D port. And then last, but by no means least, is the Aorus back panel. And I gotta admit, folks, I really do like this feature. I think you guys do as well. It's very elegant, it's very tough. It keeps your card from having any damage whatsoever, and you don't damage your hands if you accidentally touch it. You don't get no cuts, nothing like that. I like it a lot. I know you folks do as well. Some of the specs you definitely want to know about this card are the boost and base speeds. Now, the boost clock on this card is 1873 megahertz with a base clock of 1645 megahertz. This is in their overclocked mode. They also have a gaming mode, which features an 1847 megahertz boost and a base clock of 1620 megahertz. This card is still made on the older 16 nanometer process. It features a memory clock speed, however, of 9,026 megahertz. And that's one of the biggest things about this card is that it features ultra fast GDDR5 memory. The card also has a 192 bit memory bus and it sizes in at 59 millimeters by 281 millimeters by 137 millimeters. 
But one thing you need to take note of, like I said before, this mother fracker is huge and takes up almost three slots. So if you don't have the space inside your PC, you can't force it. Because if it don't fit, don't force it. All right, tech fans, so there you have it. The Extreme Edition AORUS GTX 1060 from Gigabyte. What it looks like, the specs, and all of its cool stuff. With that said, though, let's jump in real quick, check out our test system, and then let's check out those benchmarks. The test system that we're currently using is a pretty nice test system. It features an X99 motherboard, 5960X CPU, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance memory, features a very nice case, a nice SSD, everything in this system is just pretty much over the top but it works great for gaming. And like I said before folks, this will be the last video where we don't have the 1% 0.1% lows. But with that said, let's rock out to the benchmark song and check out the scores. <laughs> One thing you guys should seriously take note of, however, is this car was the absolutely coolest running card out of all that we tested at 64 Celsius under maximum load. Now I know on the box it says that this card has a boost of 1873 megahertz, but at its best we were seeing 2000 megahertz as the boost. All right, everybody, so there you have it. Now you guys can see this card is awesome. For one thing, it runs really, really quiet. No coil whine, nothing like that at all. If the card is actually in a really cool room and you're just playing like Dungeon and Dragon types of games, the fan will shut off and be completely silent. That's really cool. And as far as the 1060s go, this card's like almost one of the fastest that there is. And as far as the scores go, you can see it went back and forth, back and forth with the RX 580. And we're talking about the AORUS version of that. So that's a pretty even competition right there, you know, AORS versus AORS. Now, the one thing is this card is actually a little bit more expensive, though. This card's coming to market about $299, which is about what was it? 20 bucks, I think, higher than the RX 580. So that's a small gap. But this card, like I said, runs really, really quiet low power requirements. Like I said, 400 watts is the recommended power supply. So, I mean, pretty much almost any system can handle that. Um, heck, it looks good. At the end of the day, I gotta say, this is definitely a card that I would give an editor's choice to. It's one of the fastest cards there is in its class. I know it's a little pricey, but for all the features and everything you get, I think at the end of the day, it's worth it. Let me hear what you guys gotta say, because right now it just seems like these two cards just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for that mid-level gaming thing. Like usual, everything about this video will be down below that like button. Hopefully we go Chuck Norris style on that thing. I'm Eric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll have more tech, obviously, tomorrow. And if you like what you see, hey, Hey, please subscribe to the channel. And if you don't have notifications on, well, turn them on because that way you'll get notified. Peace.